we're going to take a look at the 250 at Goodwood on Tuesday, the 1st of August, first day of glorious Goodwood, third race on the card. Um, pretty deep race for the tag that's on offer, but um, there's three runners here at double figure odds, and well, most runners in this race are at double figure odds considering it's a 16 horse field. Um, but there's three here at double figure odds that we think will be fighting this out, and we're pretty confident we can get a winning result out of this race. So you can bet into it with a bit of confidence. Um, 250 Goodwood, 10 furlong, class two, four year old and up. The Chesterfield Cup handicap for a 51k tag to the winner, a 51k purse to the winner. The three that we're interested in, two of them are the class runners in the race on their three year old form. The first of them is the three Ancient Rome, 17.0. The second of them is the four Imperial Fighter, first time headgear, 21.0. And also the 14, the lightly raced improving Galileo four-year-old Colt Mahaba, the champ at 17.0. I uh, feel that we can back all three of these for a result across the race. Let's go through the form of them quickly. First one, Ancient Rome. Um, well-bred four-year-old Colt by Warfront out of the Saddler's Wells Mare Gagnoa. Um, comes into this having its sixth, karate, sixth start of the season over from France. Um, if we go back and have a look at its form from last season as a three-year-old, um, it really starts to spark interest. Having its first start for the Charlie Hills yard, Jamie Spencer up. Um, if we go back to its three-year-old form, it was fourth in the French 2000 guineas behind Modern Games, beaten two and a quarter lengths. Um, that form reference is fairly strong for this, or very strong for this. Um, the French 2000 Guineas form from last year is well, well known now. I'm not going to go through it in depth, but um, two lengths off modern gains puts you in this up to its ears. Texas now it started the Wooden Bassett, Wooden Bassett Colt in second. Um, Tribalist, another Godolphin runner back in third. And LaSalle, Well Well and making movies back in 5th, 6th and 7th. Frank the form to a good degree. Um, goes to 10 furlongs now, having its 5th start of the season. Suggested it was back in some sort of form, winning first up at Chantilly, um, then second in a decent race at Chantilly over 9 furlong. But since then, it's been below par in three runs, the last two in Group two, in group 3 company. I just got a feeling that the change of trainers from a from Andre Fabe to Charlie Hills is going to spark this one back to a new level now, going to ten furlong for only the second time in its career. Uh, last time was on a soft track after its big run in the French two thousand guineas. Um, if it gets back to anywhere near that level, it's going to prove very hard to beat here, and it's not. It's off a pretty good mark considering mark of one hundred five. Um, so it's decently weighted. The other one also has 2,000 guineas form, but uh, the next one, Imperial Fighter, but it's Irish 2,000 guineas form. Um, well bred gets first time headgear by the Gurkha out of a green desert mare Endure for Andrew Balding, Oyson Murphy up. Um, the run six back in the French 2000, in the Irish 2,000 guineas, the third and native trail um, is good. A lot of depth comes out of that race. If it runs anywhere near that level here, it's going to prove hard to hold out here once again. And on a similar line to Ancient Rome through its French 2000 Guineas form, Imperial Fighter, if it brings that form, having its fifth start this season, it's pretty well placed here. Uh, tried in Group 2 company, second up this, term, this time in, then in Group 3 company. Dropped back to a handicap, Class 2 last time out, down the track behind Jimi Hendrix. Um... Prepared to forgive that run, 9th to 14 in the group. Uh, they wouldn't be coming here and stretching out to 10 furlongs without some sort of chance. First time headgear important. Um, expecting a new peak for this preparation. If it gets back anywhere near its 2,000 guineas form from last year, on good to, good to yielding ground, it's in this up to its ears. And the other one's a lightly race improving four-year-old Colt uh, that's well-bred, Mahaba the champ. Uh, it's only started seven times in its short career. Um, put the riding on the wall last season. Winning at Hamilton in Class 3 company over nine furlong on good to soft. Um, 
the form out of that race stacks up back to this race. A few form lines um, put it right in this. Uh, it goes from off a mark of 84 that day to a mark of 92, but being lightly raced, plenty of scope for more, and it showed that first up this time in when it won at York in a good class two for an 18K tag, knocking off Marie's Diamond. Um, very well bred, as I said, by Galileo out of the top class. Rahi, Mayor Lady of the Desert. It's two from seven winner. Lightly raced, plenty more to come yet. Um, Lady of the Desert has got the good Frankel Mayor Queen Kindly, which was 112 Racing Post rated four from 13 winner making this one a three-quarter, this one being by Galileo. You go back to the second dam, uh, which is Queen's Logic. She was absolute top class uh, back in a day. We'll get to that in a second. Yeah, she was top class back in a day, but this one being lightly raced, uh, it's the third one that we want to be backing in this race. You know, technical issue, but Queen's Logic was absolute top class, multiple group one winner. Um, so the three that we want to be backing here once again are the three Ancient Rome 17.0 occupying about 6% of the market, the four Imperial Fighter 21.0 occupying 5% of the market, a total of 11% between the two of them, and the 14 Mahaba the Champ at 17.0, another 6% of the market. So we can back all three of these to about 17% of the market or, you know, Odds of about 5.40, 5.50 um, combined across the three of them, which is pretty good odds considering they look the three major scene chances. You're going to get better prices on the exchanges, um, bet into the race with a decent degree of confidence. That is the 250 from Goodwood, race three on the card, day one of Glorious Goodwood on Tuesday, the 1st of August. Thanks.